Listen, I don't know who this is for, but I know you're not the type that boasts in yourself. You're not the type to brag, right? You're not that type, but the way that the Lord is about to do these things in your life, he's making major moves in your life because he wants to be able to, he wants everybody to see you the way that he knows he intended you to be seen. He doesn't want you to be discouraged. He does not want you to look like you're not on your P's and Q's when it comes to the Lord. He wants you to look just like him. Yes, royal, royalty. God is moving the wicked out of the way. He's moving them. See, many of you already have seen that the wicked has become so messed up. Things ain't going the way that it used to. See, the way that they used to come against the chosen ones, the way that they used to come against God's people, they're being exposed. The Lord is moving them out of the way to put you where he needs you to be. See, he said the first shall be last and the last shall be first. See, those that were first only stole that position. It was never intended for them to be first. They stole what was for God's people. See, but that ain't what God wants to happen in this season. He's moving things to where everything can work out and move for your greater good. But not only that, get this. He wants it to work out to what he gets all the glory. Because see, when you make sure you let everybody know that God is for you and, and who, who could be against you if God is for you. If you letting everybody know that God is for you and that's who you're for. He wants to make sure he puts you on top. He's putting you at the top of the stairs, honey. They got to look up to you. And, and we ain't looking down. We not, we, we not looking down there. They your footstool. God says he will make your enemies your footstool. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's making you one proud person. And he says, don't be prideful, but he's making you proud of him. He wants you to see that what he's been telling you all this time is so true. He knows that you trust him, but he also knows that sometimes you get that little bit of doubt, but he's showing you now. He's getting ready to show you that he has never left you nor forsaken you. He, his word is so real. Everything that he said he's going to do, he's going to do it. He's moving the wicked out of the way. See, the way that they always used to come. And in different times and seasons during the moon phases and all of that, they figured that everything was going to continue to work like it used to. But God is saying, oh, they got another thing coming. They got another thing coming, baby. It's not going to work out like that no more. See, they're going to be so shocked when they see that what they've been doing is no longer working. No longer working. It is not doing what it used to do to you. It is not doing what it used to do to the chosen people. Y'all ain't bagging out. See, he's putting that power of the Holy Spirit within you. He's giving you that unction back. He's giving you that, mm, you know, that oomph back into your spirit, that fire of the Holy Ghost into your spirit. So you can know that he's always been with you. And so they can know that he, you ain't meant to be messed with. Okay, he said, touch not. What? Touch not my anointed. And do my prophets. No harm. What I said, do my prophets no harm. That means they can't put their mouth on you. They can't roll their eyes at you. They can't be talking crazy about you. They can't be yapping. They, they even their inner thoughts, the way that they think about you, baby. They, mm -mm. They, mm -mm. God is shutting it down. Type in the comments, God is shutting it down. He's shutting it down because he don't want it to happen no more. He don't want that to continue to prevail. He don't want them to even think it was prevailing. For one, <laughs> I'm just going to say, they never prevailed. Big baby, they, it, it never, they never prevailed. He just made it seem like that. You know how he did when they, you know, they thought Yeshua was like, he was dead. Remember that? They, they thought he was gone. Like, he, yeah, he gone, baby. But he, he rose again. See, he made it look like that they won, that they got the victory, that when they did what they did, that they won. But God ain't put, he's not putting up with that. He's showing them just like I did with, with Yeshua. I'm rising you up. You are rising up. God is raising you. He's raising you up to show the world that when you put your trust in him, that this is what it is and this is what it do. Okay. He wants them to know that this is the way to go. Okay.
it's just the show. You know, I told you God is a show off. So he like to show off. He like to show us off, baby. He likes to show us off. And see, when he do that, they going to see. And they going to know that God is really real in your life. That he's really moving situations that they thought they could do against you. The things that they could do against you. Situations that they thought they won. Baby, do you? See, God is about to give you bragging rights. <laughs> he's giving you the right to brag. It's like, okay, you've been putting me up front. You know, you've been letting me know, baby. I'm that one. Like, he, he, <laughs> he letting it be known that you're going to be able to. He's giving you bragging rights because you've been letting it be known that you is God's chosen. That you are for the Lord and he's for you. Okay? Like, you really know him. <laughs> you really, really know him. Like, because most people, they say that they know the Lord and the Lord knows them. But God is, you know, he already said that uh, I never knew you. Like, some people, they be claiming that they love the Lord. I mean, they just put it up front street like, I love the Lord. But the way they do people, the way they treat people, the way they doing all these witchcraft and spell work and all this evil manipulation, you know, all that stuff that they doing behind closed doors, God already know. He, are, he knows all about it. He knows everything, but he's giving you the right to brag because you ain't doing all that. See, it don't take much. See, we're so demure. <laughs> Very cute. See, <laughs> we ain't got to do all of that. We ain't got to fake it. All we got to do is be who we are, be who we came to be, be who God called us to be. And it just works out like that. We ain't got to do all that. And every time we do the things that he wants us to do. He's adding on blessings on top of blessings each and every time. And that's what I'm telling y'all. The Lord is giving you bragging rights. He's giving you the, the, the way of living to where you won't have to beg for bread. Because never have I seen the righteous begging for bread. That, that means your bills paid. The rent paid. But you got money left over, baby. The car note paid. All that. The mortgage is paid. All of that. He's bringing it to you. Type in the comments, bring it on, baby. Bring it on, baby. <laughs> Type in the comments, bring it on. That's what he's on. He's bringing it to you. He's giving it to you on a silver platter. A silver platter. Yeah, that part. He's giving it to you the way that you gave it to him. When you gave your life to him and you said, Lord, I want you to use me. He's giving it to you just like you laid down your burdens right at that cross, you know. He's giving it to you because he's proud of you. He's proud to say that you're his. See, that's why a lot of times you went through situations. The, the enemy was like, I, I, I bet you won't let me choose you. I bet you won't let me do nothing to the chosen one. He said, yeah, mm -hmm. do that one because I promise you that one ain't going to turn on me. God knew you wasn't going to turn on him regardless of what situation you went through. No matter what tests and trials you were put through, he knew you was going to keep going. He knew you was going to keep pushing. You was going to keep spreading his word and loving his people regardless. He knew it. And now that you've gotten over that hump, yeah, this is him bringing you blessings and breakthrough back to back to back. I'm telling you, that's bragging rights. But see, you bragging and he know you're going to brag in him. You're going to brag in the Lord. You're going to give God the glory. See, you ain't doing what other people do. you giving the most, let me say it like this. You're going to give the most high God the glory. Because <laughs> there's a difference. Trust and believe. When people get up that time, it's, I just like to thank God. You know, what, what God you thinking? What God are they thinking? Thanking. <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Which one? Hmm? We're thanking the most high God for what he's done for us. For even though we was going through that situation we were going through, we still kept going and pushing God, the most high God. We never said, he, look, God never said it would be easy anyway. See, we knew that. He already gave us the Bible. Basic instructions before leaving the earth. He already gave us those instructions so we know that he's with us. And like I said, if God be for us, who can be against us? Hmm. Who can be against us? Who? It, it might look like they won against you. Because everything that they intended with their spells, their manipulation, telling people not to like you. Like you shouldn't be talking to them. That, that You know, that's what they're causing, trying to cause rejection in your life. 
praying that people don't like you. Doing things to cause people to treat you bad. Counting you out. You know, they, they did it all. These people have done the most. The hostess with the mostest. Okay? That's what they was. But not anymore. <laughs> I'm not with Metro PC anymore. I'm with the most I got. <laughs> okay, they can't do it no more, honey. That's it. That's all. It's over with. When I tell you this is the time where you're going to see the things that you pray for really coming together. You know how time after time again, you know, some of the stuff seems like it starts trickling in. No, you ain't got to worry about it trickling in. All of this is going to come in. Press down. Shake it together. Overflowing. <laughs> Filled with abundance. Okay? Filled with blessings. Because that's what God wants to do for you in your life. So you better get ready to take it, baby. <laughs> He's giving it to you. Just go on and take it, baby. Take what God has given you because he wants you to have it, baby. He wants you to have it. It's all yours. Type in the comments. It's all mine. It's all mine. Blessings on top of blessings. And I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you, baby. <laughs> now, I just know y'all don't really got my book, The Burning Bridge. Y'all don't really got my book right. I got several of them. And they ready to be shipped to you today. Okay? So, make sure you go and get this book. All you got to do is look in the description bar below. Or look on the description in the bio, okay? Go over there and get your book today. You're going to love this. This is going to help you to realize that God is still in charge. He is still moving in your life. So many blessings on top of blessings you're going to realize when you read this book. Because you do not have to suffer alone, okay? I love you. Thank you. Make sure you go and get it. Go ahead and get it. Peace and blessings.